Hey guys, this is June because I was born in June and in this Groove Funnels tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can set subdomains in your custom domain in Groove Funnels. Okay, what does it mean? It means that right now, let's say my domain is called amazingjune.com, but then right now you wanted to have a subdomain that is called blog.amazingjune.com. All right, so right now I'm just going to teach you guys how to set this blog subdomain in your group funnels. Okay, so if let's say you haven't connected your group funnels, um, you, you haven't connected your custom domains to your group funnels, feel free to watch the tutorial above. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are only going to cover the subdomain. Okay, so let's get it set up right away so right now i want this is my group funnel dashboard i want you guys to log into your group funnel dashboard once you have logged in just hover to the hamburger button here and then click my account once you click on my account go to domain Okay, as you can see, I already set all this custom domain, my amazing job, June.com hosted in GrooveFunnels. So if let's say you haven't done so, feel free to follow to the card above where I teach you a, a even in-depth tutorial about it. So right now, what we wanted to do is that we wanted to add for the amazingacademy.co, we wanted to add a block dot amazing academy dot co in group funnels and group pages so what you need to do i want you guys to add like add domain okay so you just can type the subdomain you want in group uh, funnels here so maybe it will be like a blog or you know other dot amazing academy dot com it doesn't matter so anything that you like okay so i will just type Block, that it would be subdomain that I wanted and then this domain already hosted in group funnels so right now because I'm going to use it for my block purpose I'm just going to select block okay just pick no and then hit save okay once you have done that I want you to copy paste this okay it's it wants you to actually create a scene and record just copy paste this copy back to domain list Okay, so because I wanted to add this blog dot amazingacademy.co, right? The root domain is called Amazing Academy. So let's hop on to amazingacademy.co. Make sure it's hosted and click yes, edit. Okay, and then I want you guys, you should see a screen of a lot of like C name and MX and text. Don't worry about it. I will just take you guys through. It's very simple. Just hit add record in these uh, pages type select c name you can just leave it here name right i want you guys to put blog dot amazing academy academy dot co and content just paste it the one that we copied just now which is host dot uh groove pages dot com and then hit save this is exactly the uh, subdomain that i wanted just now okay just hit save Okay, so you'll probably see something like this called cnamed blog.amazingacademy.co. This is what I want, uh, what I pasted. And right now, proxy, I want you to hit enable. Okay. Once you have done that, I want you to go back to the Groove Funnels portal where you are going to go to your Groove Block. Okay, it doesn't matter if let's say it's a Groove Block or Groove Card, you can always use the same method as well. So in my scenario, I'm going to connect with my Groove Block. So just hit Groove Block in Groove Funnels dashboard. Okay, as you can see, I have two Groove Block in my Groove Funnels right now. I'm just going to set this is my testing in Groove Block. Just hit this button and click Edit. And then after that, just go to the settings over here. Okay, settings in the Groove Block dashboard. Hit the settings. Okay, this is where these are all the settings that I'm not going to go through in detail, but what you need to do is just to set up whatever that you want, like the logo, the faith cons in your group block. What is relevant to us will be the domain part. Okay, so currently I'm using this um, subdomain that is june.groofblock.com, but then instead of um, going to my blog, will be june.groofblock.com. Okay, 
I wanted to select another do subdomain that I've done just now, which is blog.amazingacademy.co, okay? And then instead of directing people to here, I can now direct them to here. And right now, once you select it, just hit save. Okay, so let's just do a testing right now. So right now, I'm just going to copy and paste this, okay? And then I paste it right here in my browser. It's now connected to my Groove blog already. All right. So basically, this is a part of the Groove blog. Um, if let's say you guys are interested to check out, uh, this is the testing site. You guys can actually do, just go and check blog.amazingjune.com. You are actually going to be able to enroll my free training on Groove Funnels, where you are able to see even more tutorials on teaching you how to set up your Groove Funnels, uh, Groove Blog, and how to use Groove Videos. All right. So this is the blog. As you guys can see, this is blog.amazingjune.com. So I hope that this tutorial helped you to know how to set up the subdomains. Uh, Remember, this method works no matter it's in your Groove Card, Groove Blog, or any anywhere else. Okay. So, uh, if let's you really like um, this video, feel free to hit the like button and also leave me some comment. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are going to roll out even more Groove Funnels tutorial later on as well. And if let's you like that, feel free to also check my resources on uh, getting like a free training. You can hop on to blog.amazingjun.com and then get the free training right here. And thank you so much for watching and i also included on my left hand side or right hand side you'll be able to find all these um diff oh, i think i should be here <laughs> you'll be able to find all these different videos um uh, that is related to group funnels training that will be be your uh, be of your help so feel free to check it out and i'll see you in the next video then take care bye